Hi everyone, in this video we'll be looking at the different ways to use your keyboard's numeric keypad in Pro Tools. If you're on a laptop or on one of the more compact computer keyboards, you might not have a numpad, but it's worth considering investing in one if you use Pro Tools on a regular basis, as a number of useful functions can be accessed from it, as we're about to find out. Pro Tools has three main modes of operation for the numeric keypad. You'll find these under Setup, Preferences and the Operation tab. As you can see, we have a choice between Classic, Transport, and in Pro Tools HD, Shuttle. I'm going to start off by talking about the default setting, which is Transport Mode. This is the most commonly used numeric keypad mode, and it allows you to access a number of record and play functions using the 0-9 to nine keys on the numpad. It's a good idea to familiarise yourself with these, as it's usually quicker to press a single key on the keyboard, rather than having to select the equivalent option with the mouse. So, in transport mode, the numeric keys will control the following. Zero is the play stop key. And the dolphins block. The this is fairly self-explanatory, however if I just go back to the preferences again, you'll see that we also have this option for use separate play and stop keys. When this is selected, the enter key will activate playback, and, and zero will be stop. The one key is rewind. If you want to hear audio while you're rewinding, then you need to select another option in Preferences, which is Audio During Fast Forward and Rewind. So now that we've got that on, you can see Downs 1 the rewinds and we can hear it. 2 is Fast Forward. The water on the Again, you'll only hear audio if you've got that preference selected. 3 triggers Record. Obviously you have to have some tracks actually record enabled in order to do that. 4 toggles Loop Playback on and off as you can see in the transport window. Five toggles loop record. Six is quick punch. Seven activates and deactivates the click. Eight toggles count off on and off. And finally, nine toggles midi merge. If you have memory locations in your session, you can also recall them when in transport mode using the key sequence period, memory location number, period, so if I wanted to recall memory location number 912 in this session, I'd type period 912 period and then I've recalled that memory location. We'll move on now to the second numeric keypad mode, which is classic. This mode emulates the way Pro Tools worked in versions earlier than 5. As with transport mode, you can still recall memory locations from the keypad, but you won't be able to access the single key function toggles like you can in transport mode. For me, this makes Classic Mode much less useful, however, both Transport and Classic Modes have an additional mode of operation which might not be immediately obvious and it's called Shuttle Lock Mode. Shuttle Lock Mode lets you use the numeric keypad to shuttle up to two tracks, backward or forward, at a variety of speeds. 5 is normal speed, with 6 to 9 offering increasingly faster speeds, and 4 down to 1 increasingly slower speeds. So, to access shuttle lock mode, first make sure you're in either transport or classic numeric keypad mode. Now, click with the selector tool in the track or tracks you want to play back. As I mentioned, you can only play back up to two tracks in this mode. Now, hold down the control key on a Mac or start on Windows and press any of the numeric keys on the numpad. So, like I said, 5 is normal speed. Once it's running, you can actually let go of the control or start key, so I can press 4 to run it slower. 3, slower still, 2, and then 1 is really slow. Or, faster than standard speed, we've got 6, 7, 8, and 9. Apart from the obvious speed difference, you'll also know when you're in shuttle lock mode because the fast forward and rewind buttons in the transport window, or at the top of the edit window, will flash blue like you can see here. If you press stop when using shuttle lock, Pro Tools will switch back to either classic or transport. However, if I just put it back into shuttle lock, you can pause playback using the zero key on the numpad. You can then resume without having to exit shuttle lock. Just press any of the numeric keys again. One final thing you can do in this mode is use the plus and minus keys on the numeric keypad to reverse the playback direction. So if I run this again slightly quicker than normal speed using the 6 key, I can press minus and we'll be running backwards 
at the same speed. You might have noticed that when I press stop, the playback cursor stopped exactly there, rather than jumping back to where I started playback, and this happens irrespective of whether you've got Timeline Insertion Follows Playback on or off. As you can see, it's off in my session. Exactly what the shuttle lock speed range is will be governed by the custom shuttle lock speed preference here. So the default is 800%, meaning that when you press the 9 key, Pro Tools will run at 8 times speed. This is customizable though. Finally, we'll look at a numeric keypad mode, which is only available in Pro Tools HD, and that's shuttle mode. So this is not entirely dissimilar to shuttle lock mode, but you don't have to hold down a key to activate it. Again, a maximum of two tracks can be played back, but the keys operate differently, allowing you to access both forward and backward speeds without having to use the plus and minus keys. It's probably easier just to put these up on screen. As you can see, some speeds are accessed by holding down more than one key at a time, such as 5 and 4 for half speed rewind, or 8 and 9 for two times forwards. In shuttle mode, you can also recall memory locations in the way I described earlier. Well, that covers the numeric keypad modes in Pro Tools. I hope you found this video useful. As always, there'll be many more videos to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.